Aerial warfare, since its inception in First World War by the Italians, has evolved drastically with technology and has steadily established itself as the much after sought combative arm for any modern military power. Over the years, air power, with its ability to project effective military power in an agile manner with largely minimized vulnerabilities, has predominantly dominated the other two environmental forms of combat, land and sea power. If the enemy has air superiority, a war is not winnable. Certainly no nation has ever lost a war by the force of enemy arms, which has enjoyed air superiority. The first requirement for the success of any major land operation is to gain the air superiority. If the land forces are operating without air superiority, they must have to take extensive measures against hostile air attack to ensure their mobility is not hindered and straightaway their ability to defeat the enemy land forces is greatly reduced. For a country as vast as India, which is plagued by hostilities of two nuclear-armed neighbors and with a requirement to tend to the complex geopolitical situation of the region, a resilient and robust military force, capable of showcasing its prowess across the region is a key requirement. With an ability to apply military prowess in the third dimension and beyond, the Air Force has emerged as the preferred power projector for India. However, even after being in multiple wars with the hostile neighbors, having had the aircraft in action, there was no fighter aircraft development project in the country for more than two decades after 1960s. Design potential in aeronautics had been decimated over the years. There was no enhancement of infrastructure at prototype facility of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, since HF-24 aircraft project. The era was marked with non-existent computer and CAD CAM facilities in India. No significant technology development programs other than aeronautics research and development board sponsored projects in the aviation industry. Aeronautics was no longer an area of attraction. However, the alarming need to develop an indigene aircraft was escalating as the years passed by. In 1969, the Indian government accepted the recommendation by its aeronautics committee that Hindustan Aeronautics Limited should design and develop a fighter aircraft around a proven engine. Based on a tactical air support aircraft ASR marked similar to that for the Marat, how completed design studies in 1975, but the project fell through due to inability to procure the selected, proven engine from a foreign manufacturer and the IAF's requirement for an air superiority fighter with secondary air support and interdiction capability remained unfulfilled. In 1978, a second and serious thought was given on achieving some manner of self-reliance, which could perhaps be achieved through a tangible fighter aircraft development program, if backed by the Indian Air Force that IT was notified to the then Air Chief that if the Air Force did not want an indigenously developed aircraft, the relevant research laboratories might as well diversify and handle other activities. It was not easy for the Air Chief Marshal Idris Latif as he believed in a measure of self-reliance and supported the indigenous fighter aircraft development program. During that time, MiG-21 aircraft was still under licensed production and the Jaguar was also contracted for. The Air Chief gave his full support and the most crucial hurdle was crossed. The scientific advisor suggested to retain few European aircraft manufacturers as consultants to come up with their own feasibility studies. In parallel, an integrated Indian design team was constituted that comprised of personnel from House Design Bureau and the R&D and academic institutions. Never before such an integrated team was constituted in India. Thus, Light Combat Aircraft Development Program was set to take off. Results of the diverse feasibility studies submitted by the European aviation industries were most revealing. It was evident that Indian designers were in no manner inferior in conceptual design, but HAL or any other body did not possess some of the crucial technologies needed for the new generation light combat aircraft. The carbon fiber composites technology for the airframe and the fly-by-wire control systems with relaxed static stability were found to be critical for the LCA's development. CFC technology development had received steady support over the years in National Aerospace Laboratories (NAL) and did not pose serious problems. In 1983, IAF realized the need for an Indian combat aircraft for two primary purposes. The prime objective was to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters, which had been the mainstay of the IAF since the 1970s. 
The long-term re-equipment plan 1981 noted that the MiG-21s would be approaching the end of their service lives by the mid-1990s, and that by 1995, the IAF would lack 40% of the aircraft needed to fill its projected force structure requirements. The program's other key objective was an across-the-board advancement of India's domestic aerospace industry. The value of the Aerospace Self-Reliance Initiative is not simply the aircraft's production, but also the building of a local industry capable of creating state-of-the-art products with commercial spin-offs for a global market. In 1983, Government of India sanctioned design, development and manufacture of light combat aircraft LCA, over 8 to 10 years from 1983 with an estimated development cost of 560 Indian rupees crore including six flying prototypes. Aeronautical Development Agency was constituted by the Government of India in 1984 as a dedicated institution for the management of LCA project. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited was selected as the principal contractor for the LCA project. However, ADA did not have a smooth initial run. Identification of available talent with expertise in aeronautical field was the first major task of ADA. Formation of core team of specialists drawn from various organizations, exploitation of knowledge base from academia and peers, training of manpower, infrastructure build-up, identification and augmentation of resources available within the country and creation of additional facilities. For advanced technologies and development of technologies were the main challenges in the formation of ADA. Smiling Buddha had made the allies and other nations to stop themselves from sharing. Technologies with India, which made the technology barriers high to get through an already prolonged timeline. Raj Mahindra was the principal architect in the initial phases for conceptual design of the LCA. Development of fly-by-wire technology was given to AD by ADA. The General Electric GE F404 was chosen as the initial power plant. The Kaveri engine was not even on the sketches during the time. The GTX-37 engine under development was found unsuitable and could not achieve the performance required. NAL interacted closely with HAL in airframe development of the LCA, taking major responsibility for its carbon fiber composite structural components, including the wing center box which helped to significantly reduce the weight of airframe. Finally, in 1985, it was concluded to opt GE F404 as the interim power plant for the LCA to avoid facing a similar situation as with the HF24. In 1986, Dr. Kota Haranarayana became program director of LCA, who piloted the development of LCA Tejas with all possible maneuvers before the takeoff and who witnessed the grant of final operational clearance to LCA Tejas in Aero India 2019.